Now on BBC One Northern Ireland, the BBC News at six with Clive Murray, Hugh Edwards and Donna Trainer. Today at six, we're in Edinburgh where the SNP says it's offering the hand of friendship to voters across Britain. The party launched its manifesto promising to use any influence at Westminster to increase public spending and investment, especially in the NHS. It is a manifesto above all else to end austerity. That will be our number one priority. We'll be talking to voters in one part of Edinburgh asking if they're convinced by the SNP's message. I voted for Labour in the past and I, I'll probably still vote Labour again. Mr Cameron and Mr Miliband have got a lot to do with that because they're, well, they're, they're making the SNP out to be the bogeymen, aren't they? The migrant crisis in the Mediterranean as human traffickers are blamed for the deaths of up to 700 people off the coast of Libya yesterday. A hundred survivors, mostly women and children from Syria, have been rescued off the coast of Sicily in the early hours of this morning. And there's been another dramatic rescue in Greece as European Union officials meet to discuss the growing crisis. The news in Northern Ireland. Confirmation that the crumbling West Stand at Windsor Park is to be demolished. The home of an 84-year-old woman is damaged and the police are attacked during trouble in London Derry. Very good evening from Edinburgh, where the Scottish National Party published its manifesto today. Nicola Sturgeon, the